Hi guys, welcome to my podcast. My name is Nicole and I'm the brains and the beauty behind Yarn Craft by Nicole. Today um, I've got my feature make, which is a little subtler than usual, which are these cute little peacock earrings. Um, a lot of times with the feature makes, I try to show y'all something that's a new pattern that's coming out or just a pattern that I really like. But these are earrings that I thought would be cute, so I made them. I keep telling myself that I will do like mini versions of these as earrings or maybe mini granny squares as earrings and put them in my Etsy shop. But as of yet, time has not allowed for that. But I thought that would be fun to show y'all off. Just a little subtle, little subtle crochet for y'all today. All right, guys, I have been very busy with projects. And so I don't have any finished makes, but by the end of today, I hope to have at least one. We will see. So the first thing I want to show you is something that I had started last week, but hadn't gotten very far on. Um, and I neglected to show it to you for last week's episode. So I made sure that I brought it out for this week's episode. And that is this really cute baby blanket that I am making. It is all, look at that. It is all, um, Tunisian Simple Stitch, and I started with yarn that I had left over from some projects, and then I'm just gradating one color into the next, and then I bought a little bit more to finish off the top, um, because I have a lot more of this really pretty green color, and then a little bit more of the tan, but I bought a darker brown and a white to finish it off. But I'm really enjoying this. Um, it's a little bit wider than I intended, but I think it'll be cute for a baby blanket um, for one of our friends that is currently pregnant. And what I really like about it is this Tunisian two-tone. I learned how to do this from TL Yarn Crafts, from her, she's got a whole like suite of Tunisian crochet stitches. And I've done it before in an ear warmer because I do a lot of Tunisian ear warmers but I'm really enjoying it here. Like it almost looks like houndstooth from a distance. And it's like now, now that I know how much I like this, I kind of want to do like maybe a shawl that flows from one to the other or like a sweater that's all black and white. Like I have too many ideas when I start something like this, but I'm really liking it. And it's now big enough that it's not curling as bad in on itself as it was. But I've got enough white that I'll go around the border of everything and then I'll block it to make sure that curl comes out. But I'm really liking this. Um, this is yarn from Yarn B. Um, so it's got, I'll show you. So some of it, like the tan is Baby B Sweet Delight. And then that's also the color that I got the darker shade in. And then I also got Yarn B Soft and Sleek. Um, these are ridiculously soft. They're very soft, 100% acrylic yarns, low pill acrylic, um, and they're just working up really lovely. So I like it. And like I said, I already had some in my stash. Um, some of it was left over from custom orders from this, that, or the other, um, which is why I wanted to start it. But once I realized how wide it was, and then also that the green wouldn't be quite enough to do a border. Um, that's why I went and got, bought a couple of extra skeins. But I'm really liking the way this is working up and it feels really good. And what's cool about this, so this is the front, but on the back, I just make stripes. Um, so I like that a lot. I think that will be good for the baby that will be coming this fall. Very exciting. And this is a project that I'm having a lot of fun with, but it doesn't have a deadline, unlike some of my other projects. So um, I have had to limit how much I'm allowed to work on this because it's cool to see the way that the colors work up and I'm really enjoying it, but I've got to like put it away and make sure that I'm getting other things done that need to be done before that. The next one that I'm going to show you is, um, I don't remember if I had this started last week. I probably had the very top started. Um, this is one of the ones that's on a deadline, so I'm trying to finish it up a little bit quicker. And this is something I've never made before. It's going to be a nursing cover, but it's kind of one of those nursing covers that looks more like, like just a really nice stylish poncho. And I'm loving it. So I'll, th I'll throw it on to show you well, kind of how it fits and how long it is. But what I like about this is that like it's just got the little, I don't know, cut in one side that 
um, allows you to like, oh, peek in, make sure baby's okay. But um, it's also just very flattering. I like the colors. This is a custom order that someone um, showed me a really pretty picture of like a cloudy sky and one of those colors. So I found some yarn and it's, it's working out very well. And it's fading from this kind of cream color to gray to blue to a bit of a darker blue. And it'll end with this darker blue after I finish getting it to the length that it needs to be. Um, but I'm very much enjoying that. It's more Yarn Bee yarn. This is um, their Yarn Topia line. It's also 100% acrylic, ridiculously soft. Um, and I like it a lot. And the colors are really nice. And they had a lot of colors in it. The gnome that I showed you last week, the darker of the pinks, was also a Yarntopia yarn, which I've used before and really like. And they work up they work up quickly and they also wear pretty well in the wash, which for an accent cover, you want anything that's going to be <laughs> near baby to be able to be washed pretty easily. And this is all linen stitch, which y'all know I love. Love a good linen stitch. So it hangs well, but it's also breathable enough so that um, baby underneath is doing just fine. So very excited about that. That one I need to finish before September. <laughs> and so I will. All right. Um, oh yeah. I did not show y'all this last week, but it also hasn't been touched since last week. I was getting, I don't know. I had a project that was in timeout because I needed to redo a section of it and it was very tedious and so I um, wanted to pick up something else that would be kind of a palette cleanser and it's a it's a pattern that I've wanted to make since it came out it's the inverse trellis tee I think is what it's called from Sweet Crochet Dreams but you make four panels uh, two of them look like this and then like you lay them in a certain way so that like this is on the waist one part you flip the other part and it's got like the same little lacy section. I'm going to try to get the camera to focus on that. Unless it won't and then I will move on. Um, it'll have one of those lacy sections at like the shoulder of another section. So I'm excited about this. I'm using Kobu for this. I had some left over from when I made the Very Vera v-neck and I accidentally bought just as much of the white as I did the blue when I was ordering it. So I have a lot of the white left over. And I really like this pattern. I want to get back to it. I had thought that I would have finished it by now, but I have not, and that's okay because this is a just for me project. There is no timeline on it. Um, and it'll still be cute, like early fall underneath a cardigan or something. So it'll be fine. But right now, it's just hanging out until I can finish some of the other things I'm supposed to finish. All right. This is the project that I think I can finish today that was nowhere near this last week. And I'm very proud of the amount of work I put into it. And because I'm this close to it, I think I can finish it today and then I can take it with me to Italy. And that is this beautiful tank. Um, this is called the Artemisia tank. Um, I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. From Terrapin Fiber Works. It's currently in testing and um, last week I think I had one or maybe both of the front panels or I was about to finish a front panel. Um, but once I got to the body, honestly, it's been going pretty quickly because it's more of just like a TV crochet. Um, but I like it a lot. I've got several of these little minis at the bottom that are kind of ombre to lighter shades. And I've got two more after the one I just started and then I will be done with the tank, which I really like. And what's nice about this is because um, of the way that the stitches are worked up, they're all um, extended single crochets. It's got a really lovely texture that I, I feel like is coming well through on the screen and it just feels nice. Like you just kind of want to touch it, <laughs> which could be a good or bad thing. I will also say that when I was trying this on, it's got this lovely v-neck, but um, I also tried it on backwards because the back piece, because of the way that she designed it, like it has a nice neckline and it honestly looks gorgeous like this and having a nice V in the back as well. So who knows how I'll wear it more often, but I, I'm so close to being done with this that I just want to be done with it. Um, so 
that's my goal is to finish that before we leave for um italy and then take pictures of it in italy i think that would be great and it would be warm enough to wear in italy the main color this main black was from fiber story which is a michigan yarn and then the minis are from montana crochet um it was i think a one of a kind sale of minis so I'm not sure if you can get these colors again, but she, she does a really great job with neutrals. And I wanna do something that was different, a little bit more neutral than what I usually gravitate towards. And I like it. I think this is gonna be a nice piece that's different, but I also, um, I'm very glad that I'm no longer crocheting with the black yarn because it was very hard to see stitches. That and this beautiful yarn, which I love the texture of, um, has a decent twist to it so it just made the texture even harder to see where your stitches were uh, but that's on me and again that was due to my own cockiness but I'm very happy with this when um, I'll let you know when this pattern comes out um, but it's it's lovely it's a lovely make and the person who wrote this pattern Terrapin Fiber Works her name is Lila she also dyes cotton and a lot of the makers are making theirs in her cotton yarns and they are gorgeous. I will say that this pattern probably comes comes off a little bit better in a cotton because the stitches, um, you can see them there, they're beautiful, but they stand out even more in a cotton. Um, it just gives it a little bit more texture even. But I wanted to use the minis and so I did mine in wool. So that concludes what I'm currently working on which again is a lot, but I'm very excited about it. Um, like I've said a couple of times in the video, we are going to Italy, me and my husband. We are leaving over this weekend. I won't be there for almost a week. So um, I'm very excited about that. I will be figuring out which projects are coming with us, um, but I have a couple of them here, a couple of, a couple of skeins of yarn that I wanted to show you and kind of tell you what I'm gonna be doing with them. Because we're going to be doing a lot of things together, a lot of tours together, I don't have to bring as many projects, have to bring as many projects as um, I did when we went to New York and San Francisco because like, I don't have to keep myself busy at all. Um, mainly just the plane and a couple of train rides that we're gonna take. Um, and also because we are going to Italy, I wanna make sure that there's enough room in my luggage to bring back things from Italy, so. I won't be taking as many things or probably as big of projects as I did before. Part of me wants to take the Tunisian baby blanket because it would be easy of just a thing to keep me busy, but I think that will probably be a little bit too big to bring with all the yarn. So, um, one of the things that I think I'm going to be, well, one of the things I know I'm going to be doing, I'll just show you that first, is using this beautiful Michigan yarn. Um, this colorway is called Hail to the Victors, and um, the Michigan football season is starting up like two weekends. So I want to go ahead and crochet this up into just a simple scarf and wear that to the first game. So I'm thinking something kind of meshy, um, probably an infinity scarf. I haven't 100% nailed down what it's going to look like, but that's what that's one project that I'm going to do because when we come back, uh, my husband will be starting classes again. I'll be um, back in the classroom again teaching, so it kind of needs to get done when I have time, which would be before school starts back. So this is one of the ones, um, it's a Vesper sock yarn, and they sell at my local yarn store, and very cool. They also started selling minis of both of these colors, like the blue and the yellow, um, so that's good for me to know for the future, but I'm excited about that. One of the other things I'm gonna do that's just gonna be a simple project is using this beautiful blue yarn from Sorella Yarn. Um, this is in her, I believe it's called Belief. It is. Belief colorway from her Netflix collection that she did, um, inspired by Ted Lasso. So this I bought with the intention of making it a hat for my husband. I think that's a great one skein project to do while I'm on a train in Italy um, and it won't take up much room when it's done. So that's gonna come with me too. And then this next yarn um, is beautiful. Did I bring? Yes, I did. So this is from a, a yarn dyer that I have not bought from before, but I follow her on Instagram. Um, her yarn company is called Winnie Joe, 
Fiberco, and I, if I remember correctly, it's named for both of her grandparents, um, like it's a combination of their names. And um, she and her husband got married this year and they went to Italy and she did like a whole collection based on their honeymoon. And so this was like a, kind of like a test colorway. Um, the one that she sold as part of the pre-order didn't have all these speckles into it. It was more of a, a smooth transition from the top to the bottom. Um, but I kind of liked this one pot wonder with the extra speckles. So I bought this from her, um, after her big, um, announcement pre-order and all of that. So I feel like it's inspired by Italy. It needs to go back to Italy. I don't a hundred percent know what it wants to be yet. Um, part of me just wants to make like a really airy wrap or scarf or something and just pick a stitch I like, see how far it takes me. Um, so we'll see what that becomes, but I think that would be pretty as just like a, a one skein simple thing to throw over a tank top or a, or a dress or something. So, and then I also bought from her cause she makes, um, these little polymer clay stitch markers and then she also does earrings. I also bought these from her too, and they're also going to be worn in Italy. So I'll be posting a lot of that. So that's pretty exciting. This is part of my yarn love for this week, Winnie Jo Fiber Co. I'll put that in the um, description below. And then the other thing I wanna to talk to y'all about uh, with regards to um, yarn love is LaRue Cotton. So do you remember the purple kind of like bralette top that I've worn on here before? That um, like I, I sometimes wear it over button ups cause it's incredibly cropped. <laughs> Um, but it's got like these rich purples that come together at the Mamacita top. Um, the same person who dyed that yarn was doing a truck show in my local yarn store. And so I went, um, I got to meet her. She was great. And, um, I bought a couple of things from her and she's also a dyer here in Michigan. And as the name suggests, Luru Cotton, she does a lot with cotton. And so I bought these beautiful... Hanks. Oh, good. It's coming through on the, the screen. Um, these are both in a fingering weight Pima cotton. So they're ridiculously soft and silky. And this colorway is called Stormy Dusk. And I absolutely love it. And then I also bought this, this color called Nightfall to go with it. I'm thinking, we'll see. I'm thinking that this is going to become a Masita top. This is it's probably not enough yarn for like a crocheted tee, um, but it might be. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, I didn't want um, to buy all of the stormy dust that she had, and I was also trying to be on a budget, but I thought that this was a good place to start. And I know that I love her colors. She does such a great job with really saturated colorways. And she also had a brand new base that was an organic cotton. I think it was both on a DK and a fingering. And it just feels really nice. The colors are a little bit more muted and it works up great because she had several samples that she did. So if you haven't checked out LaRue Cotton, you should. She's great, um, very personable, very sweet. And um, it, was, it was nice to meet her in person and it was nice to snag these goodies and I know that I put a lot of not even necessarily emphasis but a lot of what I show you is a wool blend or sometimes um, another animal fiber like alpaca um, some of the ones I show you are like really splurge blends with cashmere um, but I wanted to make sure that I took some time because there are so many great cotton dyers out there that y'all need to know about and LaRue cotton is one of them so I want to make sure they got a special shout out and it's Pima Cotton and it's just so soft. So if you don't follow her on Instagram, you should. And that, my friends, wraps up this week's yarn chat. Um, probably no surprise. What I can't let go of this week is that I'm going to Italy for the first time and I've never been to Europe and I've never done an international trip with my husband and I'm just really excited about all of that. My clothes are mostly packed. I've got to wind some of this yarn and then I'll be packing my projects, but I am thrilled. So um, if you aren't following me on Instagram, you should. Yarncraft by Nicole, because I'll be posting pictures of that. I've got a couple of handmade items that I'm going to be taking with me so you can see some of my handmade while traveling. 
Um, and then also I will not be doing a video next week because I will be gone, but I should be able to the week after. It just might be a little bit later than normal. Have a great week and I will see you back here in a couple of weeks. Bye guys.